is the king. So we spent a whole day in the field down in Hobart, and it was one of those days in Hobart that was actually quite warm, so it was a rarity. So we spent all day in the field, absolutely knackered. So we get back in, had a couple of beers in the dressing room afterwards. We all hop into a Toyota High Ace little van that was a designated driver. And as we're driving, we start debating about what we think is the best burger at McDonald's. And as we're sort of driving, there's a McDonald's drive through on the way home back to the hotel. And Merv Hughes says, I reckon I can put a Big Mac in my mouth without chewing it. I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, I don't have to take a bite. I can just put it all in my mouth and I'll chew it in my mouth so I won't bite it to finish it. He said, you can't do that, mate. You'll choke. He said, no, no, I can do it. So there we are, all driving in. There's 12 of us in this minivan. We go to the drive through at McDonald's down in Hobart. And Merv says, I want a Big Mac. We said, hang on, Merv. Everyone else wants to order what they want. So everyone's got all their cheeseburgers and fries and shakes and sundaes and everything. And Merv has his Big Mac. So we're all sitting inside the bus with our food but we don't want to eat our Maccas yet until Big Mouth Merv tries to eat his Big Mac without taking a bite. We said, righty-o, Big Mouth, come on, Merv, let's see if you can do this. He said, watch. So he gets this Big Mac, stuffs it in his mouth, no bites whatsoever, and suddenly he can't chew because the whole Big Mac is in his mouth. And he's, we're thinking, he's going to die, he's going to choke. So he starts putting his fingers down his, into his mouth, trying to get it. And in the end, he pulls pieces out and pulls it in. And in the end, he finishes it. But it was um, quite funny and a funny way to finish off a hard day in the field down in Hobart.